Hey, I'm robbing you! Huh. Benchmade 42, they actually discontinued these things a while ago. If not really a competitive flipper though, if you want something that can do chaplains and aerials and fans, maybe consider something like the Nobilis Vault. It's pretty cheap on Amazon. Um, yeah, this thing is not gonna cut it if you want to be a good flipper in the Balasong community. You're gonna have to up your game a little bit. Also, Balasongs. Pretty nifty, although you probably know them as butterfly knives. With these fancy spinning blades popping up all over modern day media, notably video games, interest in the hobby has skyrocketed. Modern day flow artists have taken a special interest in the balisong, but before we talk about their interest in modern times, we're going to have to check out their history. The creation of the butterfly knife as we know it today is long debated. Many believe the design of the knife originated in the Philippines around 800 AD, where Filipino warriors used them in combat. Others argue that the two-handled design of the balisong came from an 1800s French measuring device called the Foot of the King, which later inspired knife makers. Regardless of the initial origin, the butterfly knife remained a very important tool throughout the history of the Philippines. Fishermen, martial artists, and knife makers found all kinds of uses for the balisong, as being able to carry a full-length knife in such a small form factor was very useful. Over the years, the design spread, mainly due to American soldiers bringing them back from the Philippines in World War II. Due to their unique design, they ended up highly sought after by American knife collectors, and some American manufacturers even started creating their own. Fast forward a few decades, and the 1960s through 1980s brought forth a surge of butterfly knives in media. Unfortunately, usually in a criminal light, this violent way that balisongs were being presented to the masses brought forth a lot of states to restrict or outright ban the ownership of balisongs. A lot of these laws are still in effect today. The modern balisong, however, looks a heck of a lot different from its Filipino ancestors. Many of the most popular balisongs don't even function as knives. Balisongs in video games have brought about a brand new fresh audience of flippers, collectors, and knife makers. You know, balisongs today are hardly even viewed as a weapon. There's a community of people online all trying to get away from that gangster connotation. Instead, they bond over their shared love for flipping and present balisongs as a hobby, skill toy, and flow art. I've had a ton of positive experiences in the balisong community. Going back as far as the person that I make YouTube videos with, Will Hirsch, we go back as far as high school. One of the reasons I started to get into battle songs more was because we started going to events like Blade Show, where you have so many people from the makers of battle songs to very popular flippers of them to just a completely random Joe Schmo 13 year old that he really wants to talk to you about battle songs uh, and getting to form those connections with people and meet the different makers and get an appreciation for how much work goes into it. Um, definitely got me more attached to it in a way that I didn't anticipate. The Balasong community is unique for so many different reasons. Companies that make Balasongs, they're not thousands and thousands of employees large. You don't have companies like Samsung and Apple and Sony making Balasongs. So something that stood out to me is just how many of them are just an individual person. This is one guy, one girl, one person making these products, designing them, manufacturing them, shipping them, all kind of in their own bubble. There's been a lot of companies just in the last 10, 15 years, and even some in the last four or five years that have transitioned flipping balisongs from a kind of like, dude, bro, I'm cool, I'm tough, look at my cool knife, bleh, to being a more creative, almost art form. Because at the end of the day, most people flip a balisong as just a skill toy. Just a thing to fidget with, just a thing to improve their hand-eye coordination. Um, but within that, you, there's so much customization that you can do. Uh, whether you're buying it straight from a company or custom makers that are doing titanium anodization and specific blade shapes for a specific customer. And most of the time, the person getting that product, they're not really using it as a weapon. Maybe they'll use it to open a box every now and again. It's really a community of people that just really like creative stuff and they want to be able to express themselves through a product that they have. And that's, for me, I love balisongs that are customizable. I love being able to change out parts and 
configure the exact color profile that I want and then the exact flipping profile that I want. And that's what I think separates it from a lot of other things. But I think people will get more attached to a battle song because it's something that they'll often carry around with them all day and flip every day. It's not just a knife that you'll do whatever with. This is something you're going to carry around with you. And it maybe in certain ways kind of becomes a part of who you are. It's like, yeah, I'm a battle song flipper. All right, so I'm going to teach you the basic open. You're going to start with the safe handle, and you're going to flick it out, let it roll over, flick it off the back of your hand, and flip it open. Give it a try. Yeah, you got it. And if you want some more resources, I'd highly recommend the YouTube channel Big Flips. He has tutorials organized by skill level, so you can kind of work your way up and learn as you go. And for reviews and information on what ballast songs you might want to buy, definitely check out the reviews from Blade Bias and Will Hirsch. And finally, the community is most active on Instagram. Check out the hashtag ballast song community hashtag, as well as the at ballast song homepage account. And if you want to check out my flipping journey, check out Desuko Flips on YouTube for cinematics, unboxings, and reviews. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really wanted to share my appreciation for Balasong Flipping and more importantly, the community. So if you're interested in seeing more, definitely check out all of the creators I mentioned in this video. What do you even look like under that mask? <laughs> Obi? You tried to run. Look, man, it. times I, have been tough. IMM like, hasn't what? been paying very well.